yes we yes we created a free ebook for lead magnet free ebook okay so what what how was the response uh, my campaign is not uh, running after to uh, for fathers day we run some campaigns so fathers day okay so <clears throat> so uh, what is the what was your exact lead magnet can you share Uh, we give some recipes ebook okay recipes for uh, fruit influencer water okay cool yes, yes. cool cool sounds good all right so we have discussed that uh, what are lead magnets and what are the importance and also at the same time we discussed how to create lead magnet i hope you clear guys how to create a lead magnet i have shared a lot of examples Uh, previous uh, previous classes that how to create a, a lead magnet you can use n number of lead magnets right i've give you whole lot of list how many of you noted down the list that i've given you as a lead magnet there were 10 to 10 plus lead magnets i've given right so, yes so <laughs> it's time to make audience target <clears throat> make audience ta- uh, transact okay so everything is done sorted everything is sorted but now today we are going to focus that how our audience going to transact this particular uh transact particular that product you were getting it what do, what do you mean by uh, uh transact here yeah. transact is basically when the people are buying your particular product whether it's a lead magnet it's a per product as a sale or as a purchase you getting it go ahead guys i want your response yes yes we did great great i hope you're getting the rest of the students because i want a uh, response from all of you not from one because i want you i hope you're listening it okay so please pay attention okay so now the biggest issue is how to bring quality leads how many of you know that how to bring quality leads i shared you again with the previous classes how to bring quality leads how many of you know is sh- creating a funnel will bring us creating a funnel okay funnel and uh, asking quality questions to understand yes agree any anything asking else so many questions yeah, asking so many questions yes anything else which is very important i've shared a uh, few key words because uh, it's required uh niche target audiences okay so anything else guys <laughs> targeted audience yeah okay all right so the our problem is right now you have done everything possible okay so suppose we you have done everything possible to gain the trust of your audiences but problem is you don't know whether it's the right time to uh, right time for the sale or not because suppose you have a lead magnet after getting lead magnet you created your audiences you gained the trust as well but it's very how you, do you think that it's important to uh, give an offer on right time if you're not giving your offer on a right time suppose uh, it's it's too early to give an offer or it's too late to give an offer do you think it is going to dip, uh, affect your uh, sales conversions yes of course so if you ask soon to your audiences that hey i have a particular product you want to try it don't even, they don't even know about you they don't just suppose they join today Okay, they just joined today. They don't know about your company. They don't know about the tool. So how you can expect that they will buy the tool? Do you think it's a very sooner stage, so they will not buy it? It's very very soon, right? To ask them for this particular product, correct? Yes, they should have awareness about the brand and the product, and they should know the benefits of the product. Absolutely, and. suppose you are thinking that okay let them join uh, let them join in our session uh, learn it learn it and go and if they are not uh, suppose i i this is my job to give an offer on the right time and i missed it i gave an offer after 2 months or maybe 1 month okay for some reason do you think they are going to convert nope of course because we missed the spot there are two spots one is too early there is too late 
we have to jump in between we have to find that sweet spot to fix the offer on the right time okay that is the biggest issue after generating leads mag after creating a lead magnets after getting a lot of audiences all right but what we do we we send our offers and we we don't we always wonder that why our lead magnets didn't work because after the lead magnets lead magnets meant for collecting data correct lead magnets meant for collecting data after that you send a lot of offers to the data if the offer is not at the right time how you can think that people will going to buy right so in order to do that there are certain certain activities that you have to follow all right let's go ahead and jump into it i call it uh, pre campaign work so uh, if you cover all these aspects you will find a sweet spot and your offer will be very strong and for that i'll create a mind map for you just just give me a second guys screen is the screen visible no no not yet not yet okay i am able to see her face yes why other people is not turning on the cameras only her so get the trail yeah sorry i am doing another work and i am uh, attending the class it's okay you have a genuine issue no. what else people come up and show up in the morning because it's important i know you might be doing some other work side by side but it's okay i'm actually cooking so i cannot turn on the camera i think i understand anyways mm, all right let me share my screen here we go Is it visible now, guys? Yeah. Okay. So let's. Yes, you are asking for a mind map, Pravin. Here, I, here I go. I'm just creating one. <clears throat> This is a free one, and I've tried uh, many tools. One of the uh, similar tool is Mind Miser. You can also try that. Mind Miser is also uh, one of the good tools. Wait, I think I have chosen the wrong template. Yes, I have to choose this. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Guys, visible? It's a uh, small, big. It's readable or format or not? readable right it's fine fine yeah great yeah readable perfect okay uh this is called pre campaign side by side you can also note it down because this this activity we are doing to bringing the right sweet spot so where we can send our offers on the right time and this will give you also the clarity that after doing the lead generation getting things what exactly needs to be done to get results because at the end of the day we are here to generate results okay if you are not generating results we are a bad marketer and i don't want to be become a bad marketer i'll give you the ideas that how to do nation down okay let's go ahead and how to do pre campaign work and how to uh, filtering all the data the right way to optimize it okay let's go ahead. so after this here is our setting up setting up your goals so uh, what do you think what would be your goal for a particular uh, 
lead magnet. Shankul, anything? So your goal was cooking? Yes, sir. Uh, no, uh, selling stainless steel products like bottle, water bottle, tiffins, fruit okay. influencer bottles. So we can say selling uh, products, okay? Selling products was your uh, your primary goal for this particular brand, okay? Yes, yes. Fine. Okay. What could be anything? Uh, anything else could be then like uh, uh, create awareness. This could be our goal, right? Create awareness, yes. not about just selling. And, uh, giving them opportunity to test and try our uh, things and um, making them give uh, some uh, feedback or something. So that will help nurture them. For example, if it is a software or something. Yeah, that's fine. But what is our primary goal for this particular magnet? Uh, it's, it's fine to get a data. It's, it's understood that you are doing to collect the data. But what is the ultimate goal? What do you want? Is, is it something that you want to make them purchase? As Shanku clearly said that he want to sell steel products. So this is clearly mentioned. This is the intention yeah. behind it. Uh, purchase the product, software, purchase the software. So I can say SaaS, SaaS product. No, scale up the growth through sales. Okay, so SaaS uh, product sales. Okay, let me just tell you. Fine. So there are three. Anyone, guys? Anyone? Uh, the rest of the audience want to give some goals. I want you to participate. Go ahead and give me your goals. And what would your goal? If you create a lead magnet for a particular business, it could be XYZ. Okay, create your own assumption and give me one. Consultation, YouTube consultation. You want a consultation? Okay. Fine. Okay, so I think it, it, this, this is fine, right? Four, four I have given. Now pretty clear. What is setting up your goal? Yes. Perfect. We can add email marketing also. Basically, to build our email. No, that this is this not be your goal. Ultimate goal should be what is your own benefit to get the data. Why okay. you want the data? To sell something, to become a personal brand, to uh, make them aware that who you are, what your company works. Right? Something. There should be a goal intention. Like if you are collecting data to just doing email marketing, it's waste of money or waste of time. You must know that how to monetize your data. So for that. You must know that why you are collecting data, why you are paying to Google, Facebook, blogs to get the data, right? So that's why the intention is required. So that, that's why I'm creating this mind map. So you will, clear, you will get a clarity that uh, why these things are required. Because as you said, it's not email marketing. It's something that you need an intention behind every product. And the, the moment you start calculating like this in a mind map way or like in a, a funnel way, you will get a lot of clarity that how the things are getting much better every day and it's going to work okay let's go ahead and see little more examples okay the first thing we have mentioned is setting up, a, setting up a goal yeah probably you was telling something sorry sorry I'm... yeah okay please please make yourself right. thank you okay second is your Your target audience. What do you think? What's your target audience? Go ahead. Location based target audience. Okay. Niche specific. Gender wise. Age. Uh, let's let's not keep it like that. Okay, let's not keep this like that. Uh, give me some target audiences like in a professional way. Like you want to target, let's say okay. doctors. Let's say you want to target uh, doctors. YouTubers for consultation, SaaS product for some, you know, software companies. Yeah, we can target some man project managers for that. Project manager. Create awareness can be on niche, like on like I am a doctor, so I can create awareness about niche problems, so I can target old people's. Suppose you are a doctor, 
uh, you are suppose you are a um, you are a consultant okay basically a consultant hospital consultant and uh, you are you are you are looking for that kind of project manager requirement okay you want to build a lot of again a big building for your hospital and looking for this so you start running advertisements you see the end goal is you want to hire someone who is a good project manager and they will take care of your business okay this is the ultimate goal for us so for that we are creating this ultimate goal now we are target on this is project manager similar to doctors some other profession you getting it guys what is our target audiences here what i what i mean by target audiences clear guys let me know if you are this clear let type chat in type in chat clear go ahead Perfect. Vijay, perfect. Uh, can you uh, repeat one more time? And um, your voice is breaked. Uh, okay, okay, guys. Am I audible clearly, or is it something breaking up? Yes. Clearly, no. You are audible. You are clear. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, buddy, I have just shared now that what is your what should be your goal for the particular campaign, like consulting, selling products, create awareness, SaaS product, selling anything. This could be anything. but what is your target audience so i'm just telling you the way what is required to you know to have a correct campaign so i'm listing down all the things and i'm uh, writing side by side just go ahead and uh, write yourself as well so you will know that how i'm doing it okay let's go ahead i'm creating number 3 which is our Great. Uh, yep. What do you think? What would be our uh, warm-up content? I think uh, it should be a free video, uh, like something where we can give uh, people the reason why should uh, why they should uh, uh, follow follow us. Basically, for the lead. Yes. Agree. Free videos. Could be, okay, and uh, we can even give e-books also. Now, to be honest, I'm telling you, e-books are pretty old. Okay. 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 Instead of using e-books, start using podcast. Okay. Create a podcast as an e-book. Okay. Create whole turn turn whole e-book into a podcast. Send it for free, and in return of email and something. Do you think podcast is better than e-book right now in this era? Yes. Why yes, not? Yes. Right. We are love. We love to hear now. We don't like to read anymore on this digital platforms. So yeah, yeah. even some of the people download the ebook, they don't even read it. So it's better to. Yes. So why we are using ebook then? Ebook is okay to have a good give you a good example and to share you as a in in between the class. But it's not practical anymore. Okay. It's not very much practical. The practical is now is a podcast, because there is no way. If if they if they want to learn something, they have to listen you to you know to get the right kind of content. So they they will not cheating and all. So podcast is the best. Okay, anything else? Uh, go ahead and give your what is what would your warm up content? Blogs, free videos, podcast. Storytelling. Storytelling about the brand and the product. Newsletters. Uh, okay, that we can consider as blogs. Uh, newsletter we can consider as a blog. But let's say uh, if you said we can e-book. Uh, e-books. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. We can cover e-books as well. Fine. Yes. What about tips and tricks? Like we do in digital marketing. Ha! Huh, that should be some medium, no? So for giving the tips and tricks, you are you must be using video, blog. Okay. so mediums are covered so this is something that inside that but we want to cover outside the market okay so clear guys setting up goal your target audience is second step third step is your warm up content now let's go ahead to fourth one which is much more interesting now you yes, will try trial trial also trial for 7 days trial for 3 days Yes. Now you will do this lead magnet thing. Okay. 
people start uh, creating lead magnet on very first day they think that if you create lead magnets they will achieve it no you have to do this exercise set up goal first you write down your target audience then third one create a warm up content how you will you have to prepare in your mindset okay then, then only it will work like this. now you think that okay this is a time to create a lead magnet there. so now you guys are pretty expert in the lead magnets go ahead and give me some examples for lead magnets okay so that is that is not required example will not cover it so in lead magnet we will give that uh, ask them you're getting it what i'm trying to say instead of creating lead magnet straight okay do a survey in the market what is required don't think we always assume that if we create a podcast if we create a ebook if we create a free training it will work like anything but it's not the true okay so better to ask like if we offer a free consulting would you like to join they will say yes then go ahead and create a lead magnet if they are not showing interest for ebook why you are creating an ebook then so you will not get any results make sense guys do you think it's make sense to better to ask the people absolutely yes so that absolutely. is what yeah so it instead of making lot of lead magnet like free video training newsletters so and so forth no doesn't require just go and ask whatever they want give it for free give it for some uh, certain amount of money which is very less initially then go ahead like this there is no problem because this will be thing this thing will be highly accurate and con convertible if you go blindly and someone says uh buddy you can create a ebook and then you can start running ads to show all the people those who want to learn facebook ads you create a checklist and send it you will get lot of lead leads it will not it will not happen you don't even know that it is required in the market or not. why not just go and ask them whether they need a consulting whether they need a uh, live support like live support in the sense kind of live video q and a sessions whatever they required in fact this could be a lead magnet right the webinars could be a lead magnet free webinars free trainings are is a lead magnet so throw it to them so do you think make sense guys creating lead magnet and before asking them yes perfect but without knowing our audience how we ask so that's why i had give you na you have to know your audience as you have to first know your goals second is your target audience you have to define target audience if you not doing the second step how you come to know like what is your lead magnet and everything that's why i'm going sequentially okay just write down in your copy pens whatever you're writing on just write down all the sequence if you break one sequence you will not get it if you're not having a target audience you will lost in this create lead magnet form what to create whom to create what to offer you will be blank understood now this is interesting okay we have this lead magnet now we need a mechanism to capture most of the people don't work on this factor lead capture mechanism so what do you think how the lead capture mechanism will work i think maybe autopilot or email marketing i will call it crm remember yeah, exactly. hopsword remember hopsword i i told you before okay this is a free one crm use a crm system why need we why we need a crm system to in order to check where people are coming we we, have, we must have some database to access 24/7 very quickly in order to get the data correctly if you are if you have no crm system your lead magnets are waste i don't want you to maintain your lead magnets in your excel sheet anymore this is done this is finished in this 2020 okay it's a new era just upgrade yourself you need a crm system i and i hope you clear that what is crm system how to manage all stuff you guys clear i have shown you the live crm system that how to maintain this 
and all and uh, i've also shared with hubspot guys remember guys if i hope you remember don't don't <laughs> make me sad that if you don't remember guys if you don't know let me know i can give you another example on cr so that that will be much clear because i want you to know that no, it's clear there yeah? manish swarav swapnesh swapnesh hitesh clear yeah? yes 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 sir clear all clear all clear great great good so till till uh, now it's clear guys setting up goal your target audio uh, target audience defining then you creating a warm up content then you sending lead magnets and now is a lead capture mechanism okay makes sense this sequence makes sense it's pretty good sequence okay let's go ahead we have another one coming up it is very important after creating a lead magnet you forgot to promote it how people will reach you i would think it so what do you think what would be the mediums to promote your lead magnets <laughs> fb ads yes for sure facebook ads google ads google ads podcast. blogs podcast could be your medium do you think podcast could be your medium for sending lead magnets yes yes yes, yes. blogs youtube videos can social media be one uh yes of course social media post Let, let's let's say insta post okay post social post fine make sense now you are how now you are getting traffic you are promoting on facebook ads google ads podcast blogs youtube videos everywhere you are sharing this word that yes i am doing consulting for free for next 30 days this is my lead magnet and and this lead magnet i am sharing across the globe with the youtube videos with facebook google in podcast everywhere do you think it makes sense if i promote it like this in a way yes right okay any other any other lead magnet uh, uh, traffic you know that where we can get again uh, traffic apart from this all seven i have mentioned here which is facebook google blogs and all anything else you want to cover inside this ankul sarob anything uh, then rest is maybe call phone call yes it could be uh, okay we can send emails Uh, instead of call i'll write email what do you think <laughs> that, that will also work right emails call the cold cold emails cold email. one more lead magnet can be like uh, giving our youtube channel to show some uh, free videos that we have already uploaded relevant to this product or services or the ad that if we are going to run that also might trigger them ah uh, yeah that is comes under the videos right Isn't it? Yeah. Recently, I have seen your video in uh, IGTV. You were talking about your product and thing. That yes. uh, also triggered me to check what it is actually. Yes, of course. That that's the thing. All right. So let's go it uh, next. Next is our. Um, yes. uh it is test testing okay test the is this the components uh of your oh no uh traffic source Okay, what do you think? What is this? Test the components of your traffic source. Any idea? 
Yes. Yes, correct? All right. Okay, so we have another lined up which is optimize. Okay? What do you think what is what will come under the optimize? the components which we offer that it should be optimized like it should be a visibility or it's a quality thing i would say ctr yes. in in ads we yes. we optimize ctr very important if your current if your current ctr is supposed coming 7% or let's say 3% okay which is which is bad do you think 3% is good no nope. right so we have to improve our ctrs at least to 10% to get results make sense yes so it's your job right now that you have to check wherever because you if you have launched a podcast if you have youtube every every damn social media and ad platform have the analysis tab in instagram you can check your analysis in youtube you can check your analysis facebook ads have uh, in depth analysis google ads have in depth analysis in podcast you have in depth analysis how many listeners are there to listen your podcast right right you have a all analysis dashboard in every social media to check how your content works correct so we have to check that what how was the our ctr because if your ctr is less what is ctr guys what is ctr click through rate what is click through rate how it, how it is get calculated uh, total number of impressions about uh, divided by clicks yeah so this is something 100 visitors okay yes divided by 3 clicks 100 impressions you can say the not impressions are something different than visitors because impression couldn't be count as visitor suppose you are running facebook ads you generated impression for 1000 people yes okay but only visitor is 500 visitors are those who reach to your landing page okay okay i think uh, it should be impression visible because uh, 
uh, if I'm talking about uh, in YouTube also, uh, so the impression, impression means uh, when we are running ads or anything, so the machinery or the I'm code telling you, algorithm. Yes. I'm telling you what is impression. Suppose you're, you're opening YouTube daily. You're opening YouTube daily, guys. I hope you're checking YouTube videos every day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you open YouTube video, you're seeing a lot of ads coming at here and there, left, right, up, down, everywhere. But you don't click on this. Make sense? So, yes. so impression is something it's showed to people. So I, if I am a, if I am giving my ads to Google Ads, like suppose in YouTube I'm sending ads. So thousand people seen that okay, this is something product is there, but they haven't checked the page. The moment they check the page, they will count it as visitor, and the moment have a look on our my ad advertisement, they will count it as impression. So thousand people, if my, if if seeing my ad, this is called impression, and that your click through rate should be ten percent. As I said, the at least your click through rate should be ten percent. So in thousand people of impression, if ten percent people will click, so hundred visitors you will get. Correct? Yes. So here you said no hundred visitors. We show hundred impression, then from hundred if. Three people or uh, click on that impression, then they countable as visitor and uh, CTR, right? Yes, yes. Three percent CTR. Like uh, CTRs are different, different level. One is ad level CTR. Like one is impression. Okay, this ad is coming and then people click. They come to landing page. Under the landing page, there is another product, which is suppose you are selling for uh, just as Shankul said, he is selling for steel products. Okay, suppose thousand people came. And a uh, thousand people showed to that, and hundred people clicked the, on that, and now on your landing page, hundred people are there. Correct? Now you're on landing page, hundred people are there. Again, out of hundred people, ten people click on your product. So what will be your CTR for your product? Ten percent? Okay, so it's a thing about our landing page. If I'm counting as a YouTube video, then uh, my product is directly it's my video. Video. So the yes. impression uh, it converted into directly visitors. Yes. Absolutely. So in your video, you have generated twenty-five thousand impressions, but only watched videos are ten thousand. So you're counting as a visitors. And suppose in your YouTube video, you have given some links on description. Many people give it on links on description, right? So suppose you are giving affiliate links, you are giving your course link, you are giving your free consulting link, then you can check it how many people clicked on this. So out of ten thousand people, if hundred people click, you can calculate that what is a CTR. It should be at least ten percent or somewhat around that. If it is less than five or seven or six percent, then it's become poor in B two C. If it is B two B, it can be five percent fine. Clear guys, optimize the content uh, component. I hope it clear, guys. What do you think? Yes, there yes. will be three clicks upon hundred visitors, not hundred divided three. Yeah. Okay. I've written yeah. opposite, I guess. Yes. We can write hundred impressions there. Uh, actually, impressions. Uh, it's not exactly visitors. That's why I'm not writing it because you will get confused. Okay, Vis okay. impression is something that. Suppose uh, you are you are scrolling Facebook. Okay, there are a lot of ads coming, but you are not clicking it. Of course, you are not clicking. You're just watching ads and going away. That is mm -hmm. that is impression. Suppose it's not a yes. video ad. It's an image ad. It's an impression. The moment you click, it will count it as view. Mm -hmm. So there is difference between view and impression. So don't get confused because this is something tricky. And uh, and when we run Facebook and Google ads, no, and you will also get confused that okay, my impression is twenty five thousand. Why only ten thousand people are coming to page? Why not twenty five thousand? So why Facebook is charging more? Right. Okay. So that is why I'm not telling. You. Yeah. All right. Let's jump ahead. We have a few more points here. Another one is. Nurture the components. Okay, so what do you think? How to nurture? Email marketing. 
send uh, we can send email sequence correct right, guys do you think email sequence will work messenger chatbot perfect very good example messenger chatbot yes messenger chat text messages uh let's let's keep it uh, uh, this one email and uh, messenger chat the text message okay let's let's keep a text message so one one, one more way and anything any anything else i think i think this is this is our basic funda and also what do you think if we are talking about uh, nurturing uh, nurturing the our components do you think again doing a uh, free webinars would be helpful nurture them yes very helpful very helpful so i i know that you must be attending lot of free webinars from digital marketers maybe from xyz trainers correct all of you attending yes. every time free yes. webinars so what what they are doing they are nurturing you they are nurturing you and they are making you confident on ourself if i am doing this work kind of this kind of workshop every week in my instagram or some other sources do you think my audience will get become more stronger and they will connect it more so they will get nurtured right in the moment i ask for some particular product they might buy it because i am doing lot of nurturing through my webinars through my through my email sequence through my messenger chatbot lot of thing make sense guys nurture the components is required yes yes vijay and one more thing is like when we do webinar the conversion rate is going down so uh, i recently saw they are doing some uh, workshop putting hook uh, so can workshop can be included in this a uh, free webinar can Number be three. considered as a workshop as well because nowadays all workshops are gone live online this five days class and the nurturing yes. through workshop yes, yes. we can yes. do Yes. Okay. Yes. A five-day workshop, one-day workshop, free webinars. We can consider this one because the ultimate goal is nurturing, and at the end of the webinar, they pitch the for the product. Correct. All right. And we have a second last. Lead scoring. how you will do lead scoring guys you now give me ideas i have already idea in my mind how to do lead scoring suppose suppose i have shared email sequence how many of you know what is email sequence type in chat i know if you know it what is email sequence If you don't know, tell me just clearly that don't know. Okay, it's fine. All right, I'll show you what is email sequence. Here. This is an email marketing tool. It's a convert kit. Okay, there are little automation is running at the back. So if I show you here, it's automation. this is called email sequence the moment people join in this particular email list what will happen this email sequence will start flowing up now have a look 24 hours kids spoken english trial class you can see on your right there are email sequences after 24 hours after 20 hours after 3 hours 1 hour correct can you see it guys is it visible let me know so it's the uh, that uh, promotion email no no it's basically uh, when your uh, uh, your customer enters in your email list so ye the, the, the these process will start according to it yes so it's a automated process guys this is a automation the moment suppose vishnu registered in my email list you subscribe for it you will start getting lot of emails from my set this will be automatic sequence and i can automate from here immediately after 24 hours you should get this email after 20 hours you will get this email and so and so forth this can be manageable
and the best part you can check the details i'll show you the reports how to check reports and how to do lead scoring and all here see my open rate is 28%, 27%, 30%. People are clicking on my link is 6%. People are performing not well, 3%. But it's performing a little better. Because it's an email, so CTR would be not very good. Of course, not a 10% will be always less than that. Because it's an email, it's not an ad. So 6%, 5, 5.35 cents, not unsubscribers. Do you think this information is very good in terms of uh, doing email sequence? Now you guys clear that what is email sequence? We send uh, emails. Open rate is for email opening or opening email the opening. link? Email, email opening. opening. Okay. Yes. So in the CRM also track that uh, what percentage the viewers open the link. Yes. Yes. Convert kit itself uh, CRM and auto email automation tool. So a lot of things inside this. Right. So you can explore uh, this thing by your own. You can subscribe for free. It's free for up to thousand subscribers. So you can go ahead and try it. Right. This this is what. It, so let's come back here. And I just want to show you that how do we lead scoring, okay? Suppose uh, if if opened email we give this 10 points. You're getting it? If suppose Someone my oh, someone opened my email. I'll give my 10 points. If clicked on link, five points. I'm giving score on every event. Getting it? If watched a uh, training, full training. Fifteen points. So, do you think after after this thing, I can clearly uh, clearly uh, differentiate those who people clicked on my link or not? Suppose Vishnu just opened my email and didn't watch my training and didn't click on anything on my email. So, Vishnu got ten points. And suppose Monisha come and she opened my email and she clicked on the link. She watched my training. So, Monisha has now fifteen plus fifteen, thirty points. So, what do you think? As, as a business owner, what should my priority reach to Monisha first or reach Vishnu first? Now you tell me. You're getting it, guys, what I'm trying to say here? Yes. So, so what do you think? Whom should I reach first? Monisha, Monisha, Monisha. or Vishnu? Monisha first. Monisha first because she's she's getting better score, right? I'm giving a score, lead scoring. I'm giving a lead score according to their performances. Monisha clicked on my link. She opened my email and she also watched my training. So she she got 30 points. And Vishnu just opened my email, which is for only 10 points. So so I can clearly differentiate that. Okay, who is my prior prior audience? Is right? Do you think it makes sense to give a lead scoring like this? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, it, it uh, helps a lot that this uh, from the scoring we can know that yeah, this is more interested in our webinar, so we can push it, it becomes a warm lead or hot. Okay, so we have covered almost everything now, it's the last thing needs to be there. Watch this, yes. Closing, okay. It's time to close, guys. It's not not any further further step involved, right? We have already covered a lot of steps. Now it's time for closing sales. That's it. It's a final step. And now you just have a look how many steps we have covered. Do you think all these steps which I have just shown you right now, it's crazy, right? It, it's help you to narrow down in the right way. Each step is important. If we let's have a quick look. We started as a goal, then we target audience, warm up content, we created our lead magnet, and then we asked the audiences what to create as a lead magnet. Then we create our lead mechanism to store the, all the data on CRM, and we started promoting on Google and Facebook ads. Then we come to source, we try, we, then we started analyzing our traffic, which is performing better, Facebook ads, Google ads, blogs, whatever it is. 
optimizing content we are optimizing our component from 3% ctr to 10% we are making it little better we are making a little we are giving call to actions you know how what is call to action guys call to actions click here to know more it's a call to action click here to get a free ebook it's a call to action these are the statements of call to action you can now take down and you can do a little google you will get it in a two way okay it's a quick thing i'm just telling you next process is nurturing the component through your sending ec email sequence messenger bot text messages free webinar so and so forth lead scoring the very important step over here which is points given now of course closing sales do you think after all these steps sales would be very easy because you know that where your efforts are going and suppose you are alone here and i'm making you a manager of an mnc as a marketing expert digital marketing expert and if you have this kind of clarity in your head what to do next do you think it will be really impressive for your all the people inside the organization because you know all this stuff is involved to get a goddamn quality lead to make it as a sale no one knows in market what to do how to do it this is a very in depth process no one going to tell you like that what do you think yes uh, these are very these are some points uh, i have taken some courses they uh, provide this point for paid and you just uh, uh, give us for free basically what i am telling and uh, the closing part is the uh, most important for uh, any marketing campaign of course without closing there is no purpose so the moment you got a lead score talk to them on call on sms i'm not talk, i'm not going to write it how to do closing sales this is a very big process to closing but you know after all this thing sales would be going to be very easy make sense guys topnesh manish bharat everyone i yes, hope you clear yes sir hitesh basuraj yes. i want a permission yes, from all you guys here. i have just yes. covered one one hour on just this to how to bring down this pre campaign work okay i hope you really like that what i have just shared you right now and it's a pretty long process but it is very interesting and helpful there is a big world behind uh, getting one email id and one uh, phone number the process is very uh, uh, important yeah people only know that how to create a lead magnet and they know that okay after getting data let's send ads let's do and so forth if i tell if i ask them just write down some certain steps which is need to be there to close the deal in just next 5 days they cannot do it because if i make it as a time bounded if i if i'm going to ask any like any xyz marketer probably so they will be blank because they don't know if i'm ask them okay if you have 1000 leads in your database just give me those leads which is going to be converted in next 5 days they will cannot give it because they are not performing these over steps they are not doing lead scoring they are not doing comp nurturing component they are not optimizing ctrs they are not checking the ns traffic which which is very important right do you think it's this this information is very crucial to have, to have in the brain yeah yeah also awesome. basically the big marketers are also uh, making their process automated so Uh, they can understand their audience better absolutely there is no escape guys there is no escape you have to go through with this process to become an expert okay if you want to be a regular digital marketer just who want to just run ads just to run just to get leads that is fine you can do it your own but this is not me i go so one question i have uh, yes. for example if we have a very uh, big brand like uh, toyota or uh, hyundai or something sure. they would have uh, have n number of product lines product ticket with a uh, high value products so in that case uh, we will be automating all this yes it's a little difficult right yes few process can be automated what can be automated i can tell you uh, setting up goal is one time process target audience is also one time process creating content that can be automated right we can create content for next 60 90 days and now can be automated we can send sequences for newsletters podcasts free videos automated can be done right crm system we can send automated emails from here as well or automated uh, 
high nodes, anything. CRM system have the capabilities. This thing is manual. Facebook ad, Google ads can be run on automation, but it's not recommended to run on automation because it's, it's uh, concerned with your money. So it's better to have a look everyday basis. So we cannot automate it. Of course, this can be automated. Traffic analysis. The moment your traffic drops, you'll get an email that your traffic is not working and all. This thing can be automated. This is a very high thing uh, as a growth marketer, we say. And optimizing content, uh, again, this can be also done in op uh, automation. The moment you do start doing automation, you're back, you're this, uh, this will improve. It will come to 10% for sure. Nurturing on a component. This, this whole thing is automated. Messenger chatbot is automated. Text message is automated. Sending sequence is automated. Lead scoring, that is also an automated process. As I've shown you the reports, we can filter out those people who have clicked on the link. We can filter out those people who opened our link. Right? So it's already a lot of stuff automated, but of course, we, not whole process. We cannot automate full uh, this 10 steps uh, in the automate. We cannot do it, of course, but yeah, five, five to six steps, we can automate it. Sounds yes. interesting. Even to do automation, we should know all the process clearly. If something goes wrong, we can uh, bounce in and do it on time. Absolutely, absolutely. Autom only jumps in automation on, uh, only then if you know the manual process. Automation comes the second, manual process first. If you know how to do manual, advertise Facebook ads, uh, integrating data on Google Sheets, do it manually. The moment you are master, now search for the tools like Pabli Connect, Zapier, and XYZ tools to connect all this together. So you know that how the things are working at your back. So you're not lost. Right? Do you think this information is good to become an expert in your niche? Type yes to yes, it is important. Type yes in chat. Yes, informative. Very informative and very useful uh, to get a proper uh, lead, not a random lead. Absolutely. All right, guys, that is it for today. And I think you pretty much enjoyed this session. In fact, I also did enjoy this session uh, because it's for me as well, it's little, uh, you know, brush up my skills because. Of course, to come here and give a one hour of this kind of sessions in depth, I have to prepare myself, not from just today, from, from yesterday, to be honest. I have to prepare myself from my subconscious mind that what I'm going to cover tomorrow. So I have to wake up early and write down two steps. So, so just in case I don't miss out anything because every step is very crucial. So I hope you know that what is the effort is going behind in every one hour session. And I, I, I hope that is meant to be great. Yes, awesome. yes, basic should be. Uh, yes, Vijay, can I come? Hello? Great. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, so, I missed some part of the session. It is uh, recorded. And... It is recorded. Yeah. Don't worry. Can you just share me? Because I have a project right now in my hand. So, I want to implement this and I'll let you know how it went. So, but... today's and yesterday I wanted because I have got a client, like project for a lead generation. I'm working on a workshop. So, it's on 12th. So I need this help. Just share me this to yesterday's and today's video. Sorry I can, for I not, can share uh, you, I, I can share you today's video. Yesterday's video was uh, taken by my phone, so it was not recorded. And yesterday's session was uh, not that that uh, you will not will not cover. We'll cover it again in further sessions, again in few parts. So don't worry about it. So this session is sure. more important than yesterday. So for sure, I'm gonna give you uh, by it's, evening it's, itself. Sure, sure. Because I want to implement this because uh, I know this process, but not in depth how you explain. So I'll do it uh, as you know, like uh, how you said it, implement it, and then I'll get back to you like, how it went out. Perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Perfect. Sure. All right, guys, that is it for today. Can and you get I this mind map? Uh, yeah, why not? I'll share with you. You want how many? If you want your mind map, guys, only one. Thank you so much. One person asked yes, for the yes. mind map. I was expecting yes, all the uh, Vijay, I have one more uh, query. It's like, uh, can we use the same process for this uh, Facebook messaging ads and all? Those who don't have website or landing page, they're asking for message ads. So, can we use this process? Ah, yes, uh, we can use it, but but of course, in the message ad, there are uh, very less information because. <laughs> Since we, if we use landing pages, we, we, we get a lot of data to analyze. But when we run this kind of messenger ad campaigns, we have very less data to analyze.
but yes we can still do it it will be little hassle for you to understand that the traffic to convert why it's not converting and all because you'll get very less information uh, conversion part uh, there is some issue so yeah. other than that we are getting around 60 to 80 messages uh, on a single day with a very low budget itself yes so yeah, may, the campaigns are very lot of other uh, reasons perfect perfect all right guys so and we have a session today as well at 2 o'clock and uh, we are pretty much <laughs> we are pretty much exhausted by the morning itself like it's more than a one hour that we are kept going so are you guys ready for again another session today for 2 o'clock i don't know if you are ready just let me know in the chat if you are ready and already excited for it what is it about nihar is asking okay yes man definitely you are providing so golden nuggets so why don't we pop in great 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 good to know that uh, you guys i don't know about others why but myself it could be always anytime great great guys i'll keep you posted on the group for the next link on 2 o'clock if there are any changes on plan i'll of course i'll give you update on there itself and as if now there is no changes i'm sticking to my plan which is for 2 o'clock session sharp we'll start the session and uh, this session is going to be interesting i'm not revealing the topic if i if i reveal topic right now you will not come i know so this could be happen so i want you to come it's a surprise for you okay every session is a surprise I'll, that's why don't reveal any topics okay people skip it it's better to come yes all right guys till now Take care. Bye bye. I'll meet uh, in the next session. Just two o'clock. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.